most of the time when I read the scripts that I have to read, I think uh, who came up with this stuff. And uh, this is another one on uh, the top shelf of them all. Uh, Cruel and Unusual. Uh, mm -hmm. Story about life and death and what mm -hmm. goes on uh, after you die. And mm -hmm. uh, all the decisions you made in your life. And uh, you have to repent for your sins. And that's what we're all doing here at Riverview Hospital. So I've been talking to your cast, and I gather this is a movie about people who have done some very bad things, right? Yes. And I kind of asked them, like, you know, don't you ever wonder about the mind? That, you know, he seems like a nice guy, but, <laughs> but you know, so tell me, Merlin, what, you know, where do you come up with these bad things, and are you really a nice guy in real life? I really am a nice guy. In fact, I think it's because I'm a nice guy that I thought of this. And I remember when the first thought came to me as I was at a concert for some reason. I was in just in the on the floor at the Commodore. Goldfinger was playing, and this thought entered my head about how we we try to punish people who have done these really terrible things in their in their lives, and and uh, we talk about you know their prison terms that they're going to have, and I thought they're. The punishment that they're giving themselves must be a thousand times worse than anything that we could dole out to them. So in this world, they have to repeat those bad things over and over and over again and live with what they've done mm -hmm. for eternity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, do you ever wonder, you're reading a script like this, do you ever wonder about the mind behind the script and then what happens when you meet the writer slash director? <laughs> you're talking about Merlin on this one. Um, you know what? I don't. I think there's been a couple, there was one script, I won't say which one it was, I didn't work on it, I, I didn't even audition for it, I turned down the audition because I read the whole script and I thought whoever wrote this must have been really messed up because I, I, even I'm not willing to do it and I've done some pretty weird things so far in my career. Uh, this one, no, not at all, it was just a really good idea, it's not, it's a really kind of creepy and sad story but it's not one that would lead me to think that Merlin has anything crazy going on in his head. He, he, and he explained to me where he got the story from and it all made sense. And when I met him, he was just the nicest person. Mm -hmm.